In this video, I will show you how to fix your PlayStation 4 controller not connecting to DS4 Windows. We will be covering multiple methods, but before we get into those methods, make sure that you have enabled support for DualShock controllers, also known as PlayStation 4 controllers, in the DS4 application settings. To do that, open up the DS4 application, then go over to settings, then go over to device options, and right here, make sure that you have checked the box next to DS4 controller support. Now try using your controller. If this didn't resolve your issue, let's get into the methods. For the first method, make sure that your controller is properly connected. If your controller is properly connected, it should be showing a constant blue light at the back. If that's not the case for you, that means that there has been an issue with the connection. To fix that, if you're using a wired connection, make sure that your cable and ports are working properly. You can try plugging your cable into another port. If that doesn't resolve your issue, changing your cable might do the trick. But if in your case you are using a Bluetooth connection, make sure the controller is properly connected by putting it in pairing mode. To put it in pairing mode, you must hold down the PlayStation and share buttons at the same time. Now that your controller is in pairing mode, you should connect it to your PC. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button. In here, write Bluetooth and open up the application at the top. Then press the plus button right here and press the everything else button right there. Then the controller should appear right here. But keep in mind that you must have a Bluetooth dongle or a motherboard that supports a Bluetooth connection on your PC. Also make sure that your controller is charged, because if it isn't, it won't power on or connect. If you're struggling to connect it using the Bluetooth method, maybe try connecting it using a wire. If this didn't help, you can move on to the next method. Now, for the current method, we will be talking about an issue in certain games known as flickering of the controls. That means that the game isn't properly detecting your PS4 controller. You can resolve this by enabling the Hide DS4 controller option in the DS4 application settings. Just open up the application, then go over to settings and check the box next to this option right here. This tricks your computer into thinking you have connected a controller that is compatible with Windows. Now try using your controller and see if everything is good, but if it isn't, you can always go over to the next method. Let's jump into the next method. For this method, your controller might be automatically disabled by the DS4 application when you were tweaking some of the settings in the application itself and you will need to re-enable it through your computer settings. To do that, go to the bottom left of your screen and press the search button, and in here write Control Panel. Then open up the application at the top, and once you get into the application, select Hardware and Sound right here, then Devices and Printers. Then go over to the Wireless Controller tab right here, right-click it, then press Properties. Then go over to Hardware, and when you get right here, find the HID Compliant Game Controller option, select it. As you can see, in Device Status, it says this device is disabled. Press Properties, then press Change Settings. After you do that, you will have the Enable Device option. Select that, and then press Next. Then press Finished, and as you can see, this device is working properly. Now try using your controller and see if it's working. If it isn't, move on to the next method. If you are still not able to connect your controller, you can try updating the drivers of the controller. New drivers bring new optimizations for your device. To do this, we resume at the same place we were, devices and printers. We right-click wireless controller once again. We go over to properties, then we go over to hardware, we find the HID compliant game controller, we select it, then we press properties, and once we do that, we press change settings, and after you do that, go over to driver, then go over to update driver, and here you can search automatically for drivers or browse your computer for drivers. Most likely, the automatic option will be the best for you. And if this pops up, that means that you already have the best drivers, but if an install occurs, 
That means that you might be able to connect your controller. If that didn't help you connect your device, you can also try reinstalling it. It could have some issues with the initial connection, so to do that you go back to the driver section of the HID compliant game properties and you press the uninstall device button. Now, after you uninstall your device, unplug it, then plug it back into your PC and see if that helped you resolve your issue. But if none of these did, you can go over to the last method. For the last method, you can try reinstalling the DS4 application as you might have something wrong within your files. To do that, go over to the folder that you have of DS4, right click it and press the delete button. After you do that, go back to the DS4 Windows official website and re-download the application. Then try using everything again and try connecting your controller and see if that helps you resolve your issue. I hope we helped. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.